what is autonomous operating system that Oracle announced at Open World 2019, how to create your first autonomous operating system on Oracle Cloud, and how to access it over the internet. I'm going to cover all this in today's episode. Welcome to episode 33 of weekly video series with me, Atul Kumar, from Team k Academy, where we help you in your journey to Oracle Cloud and transition you from a beginner to an expert in Oracle Cloud. So in the previous episode 31, I shared eight key takeaways from Oracle Open World, and number one was world's first autonomous operating system or autonomous Linux. So if you missed that episode, then go and watch it at ketoneacademy.com forward slash 31, where I covered all these eight key takeaways. Now, before I show you step-by-step step on how to create this autonomous Linux and access it, let's first understand what exactly is autonomous Linux. So the first point is Oracle autonomous Linux is based on native Oracle Linux operating system, along with the new Oracle's operating system management service. Point two is that, and it uses machine learning and AI to deliver the security and lifecycle management like auto scaling, management and monitoring of operating system. And the third thing about autonomous Linux is that it executes automatic patch updates and tune without a human intervention. That means better productivity, more security and less downtime. The fourth point is that it's binary compatible with Red Hat Linux, allowing IBM's Red Hat customers to start using this service and its application running on top of that without any changes on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. And fifth and the best part is that it's available with Oracle's Linux Premier support at no additional cost to Oracle Cloud customers. So now let's look at how to create this autonomous Linux on Oracle Cloud. So in order to create this autonomous Linux, you should first have a cloud account. And if you don't have one, then you can register free using my step-by-step -step video and guide that I covered in episode 30. So you can get that guide and video by going to this URL ketoneacademy.com forward slash 30, or you can also use URL ketoneacademy.com forward slash cloud 01. Now next we want to access this autonomous Linux over the internet. So we'll create a public subnet and assign a public IP and configure internet gateway on this VCN. And if you're not familiar with what is VCN, public subnet or an internet gateway, then I've covered it in one of the previous episodes on networking at ketoneacademy.com forward slash 1009315. Now, once you have VCN and public subnet, you need one more thing, which is as such key pair that you can generate using Putigen. So you can access this autonomous Linux using as such private key. Again, if you don't have SSH key pair or you don't know how to create one, then get it using our step-by-step -step guide at ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI 51. So once you have these two things, then you go to cloud.oracle.com, click on this button here and say sign into cloud. So when you log into the cloud account, you will land on OCI console, go to top left hamburger menu, click on compute, and click on instances. Then click on create instance. Then enter your name of the instance. In my case, I've used Ketone Academy underscore autonomous underscore Linux 01. From here, choose an operating system. Click on change image source. This is where you will select the autonomous Linux. Then instead of platform image, you click on Oracle image here. And under these Oracle images, you will see Oracle autonomous Linux. And the price is free. You check this box, scroll down and towards and click on this agreement for accept terms and conditions and click on select image. So then select the availability domain inside which you would like to create this machine. And now what is availability domain and what is a region? I've covered it in one of the previous episodes. You can check it at ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI 27. Then it's applicable for always free eligible. And what is always free again, I've covered it in previous episode, which is ketoneacademy.com forward slash 32. If you don't want free, you want a different shape, you can click on, if you want higher CPU and higher memory, you can click on change shape. Then this is where you will configure networking. I've already created this VCN, which I was talking to you earlier. And then you select subnet. 
in this VCN, there's a public subnet and private subnet, and I want a public subnet because I would like to assign a public IP to this machine. Now make sure you check this box out where you say assign a public IP. Otherwise, if you leave it to default, do not assign a public IP, you will not be able to connect it from the internet. So you select assign a public IP, then you can leave all other values default and you need to provide SSH key that you've created using keygen. Now select choose a file and search the public key that you have generated. Public key is the one which will be uploading onto the cloud server and private key is the one which will use to connect and keep your private key safe. You can look at other advanced options and if you want to assign a specific host name, then you can assign it here. We'll leave it to the default and click on create. Now the request will submit to the work request. Now once machine is created, you will see the status as a running and you will get a public IP that you can get it from here 129, 146, 30, 123. So I'll select this IP address. I'll open the putty. So once you are in putty, you enter this IP address here at top. You save it as a session and you go then under SSH expand and click on auth. And here you select and browse and select the private key that you have generated via SSH key generation pair. Click on open and you go back. Make sure you save this session and click on open. And first time when you connect, it will say that the host key is not cached. You say cache it and click and say yes. I simply type OPC that stands for Oracle Public Cloud. Hit enter and now I'm connected on this machine. This is the machine name I gave at the time of creating this Linux machine and OPC is the user. If you want to go to the root user, you can say sudo su minus at hit enter. Now you are in a root user. Now, if you hit any problem in connectivity, in your case, maybe you have misconfigured internet gateway or VCN is not configured properly, then you can go to this URL ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI 45. You can check how to troubleshoot the problem that could be because of the SSH keys or it could be because of the subnet or network or any other things. Well, that's it about world's first autonomous Linux. And this episode is sponsored by my comprehensive step-by-step -step training program on becoming an Oracle certified cloud infra architect and clear the cloud certification 10932. If you're not yet certified, then register for a free masterclass where I cover how to go from a complete beginner to what things you should need to prepare and how to prepare so you clear the certification in first attempt with ease. So register for this free masterclass at ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI02. Now task before you go, make sure you first register for a free cloud account. If you don't have an account yet by downloading a free step-by-step -step guide and video from ketoneacademy.com forward slash cloud01. Then create the VCN with associated resources so that you get a public subnet and an internet gateway. If you need more details, you can go on to ketoneacademy.com forward slash 1009315. Then the third task is create SSH key pair using Putigen if you don't have one. You can follow step-by-step -step document at URL ketoneacademy.com forward slash OCI51. And then fourth one is then create autonomous Linux with public IP and connect using the Putty as I've showed you in this episode. And finally, once you've done it, then share the screenshot under the comment section. And I would like to congratulate each one of you who attempt and create your first autonomous Linux machines. I'll also share some future tips on this autonomous Linux. So that's it from me, Atul Kumar from team Ketone Academy. And if you like this video, then don't forget to share it with your colleagues and subscribe to our weekly newsletter at ketoneacademy.com forward slash subscribe so that you get weekly video tips that will help you in staying ahead in your career. I'll see you next week with another step-by-step -step on one of the hot topics on integration cloud. This is one of the episodes that you don't want to miss. Stay tuned for the next week where we cover how to create an integration cloud instance so that you can use it for your integrations between cloud to cloud or on-premise to cloud. I'll see you next week.